Alrighty, so we are now looking at the Entrusted Will mission for the Fuzamasu fight. Are you guys sick and tired of these, uh, <laughs> these Divine Wrath of Mortal Will videos? Because I'm kind of getting sick of recording them, to be honest. But we, <laughs> we finally reached the, uh, you know, I think this is the last category mission that we have to look at. So this is pre-recorded gameplay here. Uh, Entrusted Will is very tricky in terms of the team build that you want to go for. But we are going with a bit of an unorthodox setup, but we are kind of taking advantage of the monotyping. Uh, you know, that we are kind of trying to get here. So you guys can see when it comes to the amount of int units, because we don't need to worry about bringing, like, multiple category units, right? Uh, you need to bring uh, a lot of int. That's kind of the idea. So we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we have int Namek Goku, and then we also have int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, as well as int UI Goku. So uh, combining that with tech ultimate Gohan for guard stack, haha, funny, you can't hurt the guy. Uh, with damage reduction items, physical guy Goku as a friend leader doing his thing. And then we also have, I believe, STR Goku and Gohan. Uh, basically, it just comes down to them dodging in slot 2 or slot 3, and we kind of lucked out on this opening turn because now we have them in a situation where they just don't need to do anything. They just can super, super in peace and not get us killed. But with God Goku, we need to absolutely ensure that we get that dodge chance with the orbs. So that's kind of like the whole idea that we're going for. We need the guard, we need the dodge chance, so we always need to maximize his physical orbs. That's kind of the whole idea of the run, right? Now, you might be thinking, I don't have full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku because I'm on global. Now, the easy uh, replacement option that I could say is Ultimate Gohan. You could run Future Gohan. You could run Physical Future Trunks. Um, there are options, but unfortunately, uh, your boy, if you don't know, is one for four on the new LRs in terms of this celebration. So, not my best luck uh, in terms of uh, just how Dokkan usually wants to treat me. So, you know, we're just kind of uh, getting through it. Uh, just trying to take it one day at a time, and hopefully we do end up getting lucky by the end of the celebration. I could walk away with two rather than one, maybe even three, but again, at this point, we're just on, like, the verge of just like, I just want one, please. <laughs> so, um, it is what it is, but uh, we'll get there, right? Uh, but like you guys can see from the previous video, you know, we've no item all the red zones without the new units, and now we just need to no item the last uh, Divine Wrath Immortal Will stage, and then we will have uh, all the no item runs done, all the missions done. Uh, no new units aside from Vegito needed, and that'll be all she wrote from there. And, uh, you know, that's pretty exciting stuff, right? We're, uh, you know, moving quickly through all of the content that this game had to offer, uh, just getting make, making sure everything is done so we have videos up for the whole celebration. Uh, no item runs, all the category missions, and all that fun stuff. I gotta go back and do a Time Travelers Live. Uh, we already had a successful run, but I was not recording it. Uh, so, you know, we already have the unique title and all that, but that's for uh, Divine Wrath. This isn't even for Divine Wrath of Mortal Will, so it doesn't matter. We already, this was like my initial run for the completion, right? So we finally have that title and stuff. It, it, it's just looking good, right? It, it's like, you know, we've really kind of made our way through the celebration and it's been a fun time. So that's always cool, right? Uh, and then right here, we still have an item active. So I cannot, you know, I have to make sure. So the play right here is grab those orbs and then we're going to have enough physical, right? So we have six physical orbs. What exactly what we're looking for with God Goku. And then we have a decent heal up coming right there from uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan. Obviously could have been a lot higher, but it's just kind of the way that it worked out. I have not had a chance to really build him up the way that I wanted to yet, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll get there, right? So, boom, there we go. Um, just moving through this stage slowly. Again, like, the type advantage is always going to play a big role in this, and when it comes to just getting the five stones and completing the, the title and all that, I really don't see any issue with using items. Like, why why would we go for a no-item run when it later, like, we're literally not rewarded anything other than just being like, oh, look, I did the no-item run, right? It's like, it literally does nothing for us, so... I'm not really too concerned about doing that, to be honest with you, at least in terms of uh, category missions. I don't think that really serves much of a purpose, um, especially with the dupe level that a lot of these units are at in terms of, like, uh, you know, what's the word? <laughs> like, there's a pride no item run, but then there's a difference be like, there's a difference between doing a regular no item run and then doing a uh, category, like, mission no item run. Does that make sense? Like... This is just for five stones, and then the no item run let me use a team that I like to use and I know is more co like competent in terms of getting something like a no item run, and that is going to make my life a lot easier. So right here, I kind of get put into the predicament where I want to, um, what's the word? <laughs> um, I, I don't like that I have to use three items by turn four, but just kind of the way this played out, it's like, okay, if we take damage, we'll be able to get hit UI Goku out at some point and get those guaranteed dodges. We're going to have the standby for the defensive sub support with full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, and whatnot. So that's going to help out a lot. And then Namek Goku, again, like finding a way to become like useful in, you know, 2023, uh, almost 2024 at this point. So this isn't to say like, oh, he's aged really good. He's still like really, really good. But no, like, you know, you put him in a situation with damage reduction items and the ability to stack and an OK linking partner. And, you know, he can get the job done for you. I think in this run, he does pretty well. And, uh, you know. 
it's like we're good to go and you'll see on the last turn that we actually do end up getting put in an interesting predicament where you know we have a lot of units and um we have um it's like it comes down to one hit not being a super and it ends up being a super but a unsung hero makes his uh makes his presence known right so that's kind of what ends up when what ends up happening there sorry so right here we get a uh, ui goku and then i believe the hit spread actually kind of works against us because uh we have the standby with super saiyan 4 goku right here and that just kind of puts us in a different situation right so it's like we have the active skill with guy goku obviously we're not using that but it's like right here we can't really take advantage of what ui goku can do fully because we just we can't do um we can't get like those guaranteed dodges in slot one that you'd be looking for anyway so like right here it's like, I don't really know how I want to do this. Uh, do we keep him on rotation? I don't think so. Yeah, I, end, I think I end up going with this, right? So get the 11 orbs right there, and then we're basically, we already fully charged his gauge in two charges, right? So, yeah, now he's already ready to go. So that worked out really well. And then we check defense. We're at like 500k with Goku and stuff like that. And, like, really no reason to use an item right here because we have, um, we A, we have an, act, an item active, and then B, right there, we're up to 11 million. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> so you know god goku's doing his thing he's gaming um not worried about him one bit at this point and especially with like the dodge and stuff that he's doing you know it's, it's we're in a really good spot with him uh now in, in, in ui goku has the guarantee dodging as well so it's like if, if fusamasu wants to go ahead and try and super him we're good to go so boom there we go nice <laughs> and then 4.9 from him again like this isn't like his best setup it's not like he's had a ton of time to stack or anything like that he's literally just here because he has this 100% dodge chance and then the next time we see him he's still going to have that dodge chance so he'll be like a nice slot one unit uh, then right there obviously you know 100% dodge so he can't hurt us and now right here we have to go ahead and use an item again and then right here I don't really know if I make a mistake to per se but I don't know if I made the smartest decision I fuse him to get the high or not fuse but transform him to get the highest amount of d defense that I can get on that turn and then we have to pop an Icarus and then at this point things are kind of getting close right because we have one more we have two more turns after this one right uh, so we go ahead right here get the 18 key with him and again he gets a uh, attack buff uh, in slot two and also gets another attack buff against extreme class enemies so namigoku at this point has done like a really good job of building up his offense a decent job of building up his defense uh just a a solid performance from him all things considered uh because like this isn't like his uh you know i guess this is like in all things considered this is probably like the best event for him right now in terms of like hard content that you can get a usage out of him in but even with like without items i don't even know man like it, it would still be close right because like that Zamasu hits hard, man, and you do not have time to build up his defense to the point where he's uh, at a viable level to tank those supers. There's just no way. Uh, like, you have to kind of use items, so I guess that can kind of work against the unit, but I don't know how hard you want to judge uh, Namek Goku for that, because, again, he's nowhere near designed for this stage, like, not even one bit. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you could be like, oh, Namek Goku sucks now. Well, it's like, yeah, no kidding, he's two years old at this point. So uh, it ends up working out, though. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Gohan taking 30k per normal, as usual, Giga Chad stuff that he does. And right here, uh, we don't get the luckiest. We do get to get like, honestly, we do get pretty lucky with the hit spread again, right? Because like, we're just the the issue that I'm running into right here is that I don't think I can get the orbs that I need for uh, Super Saiyan uh, God Goku because that's like my primary focus, right? Is like make sure that uh, Super Saiyan uh, God Goku can get his orbs because that's like that's everything with him, right? So it's like boom, there we go, and then I make sure that we get six orbs with him, so we get seven right there, and then we want to get four with. Um, Goku Gohan, which we do, and so now we're looking in a really good spot because we have the 18 key right here. 8.6 is nowhere near like his best attack stat, but it's just kind of the way that it played out, right? We don't have another GT unit with him. We don't have Saiyan Roar on this rotation, so you know we just have to deal with what we got. 5.9 million damage is not bad at all. Take this, uh, take this one on the chin and just keep moving, right? Because we got one more turn after this, uh, and then God Goku again with less orbs, like the physical orbs and all that. His attack went down substantially, almost cut in half. But this turn is just about making it out, right? Like we just got to make sure that. Um, that uh what is it super saiyan goku just dodges right that's the whole thing that's gonna make this go so here we go right here <laughs> 2.3 nice and then a double super right there not bad taking double digits from normals and we're basically ready to go at this point i believe he decides to do one additional in this run and it's right here i don't know if it was this run or another one yeah it is this run so he does get the additional right there and then on the last turn, so if you guys know anything about Namek Goku, you know that his additional procs, or his active skill procs when there's an uh, extreme class enemy that's pretty weak, right? So we do end up taking that hit, so he ends up being fraudulent in one aspect. So 
This is where things get dramatic, right? I throw him in slot two to maximize his damage. We turn off the skip active skill so we can watch the beautiful Bakayaro animation. The frown, we don't get the frown, unfortunately, but you know, just seeing this active skill in the first place is something that you don't get to see every day because this unit's old, you don't really get to use him that much. So I'm like, I gotta take advantage of this opportunity. Let's go ahead and watch this active skill. The beautiful enemy sprites, those are always the best, right? So boom, here we go. Yeah, boom. <laughs> And then of course, of course, no crit, it would have ended it. We would have gotten the frown, but such is life, right? So now it comes down to the moment of truth. Mr. Uh, UI Goku, you have to survive one attack. If it's a super and he takes it, we're dead. If it's a normal, we're fine. It's a super, we dodge it. <laughs> so there you guys go. Uh, and trusted will, uh, not too spooky, not too bad. You guys can definitely get it done, especially with items. Don't. Don't feel scared to use Goku Gohan. They do have a dodge chance. It's just going to take some luck. But guess what? You have unlimited attempts at this. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. If you've been able to beat this one and if it's helped you beat it, go, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new and comment down below. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video and I'll catch you in the next one.